Now I'm going to go back and talk about this. So this is a 26 ounce candle. Okay, and it says it's tobacco and vanilla. Now I'm going to show you guys this formula. Okay, so you have a 26 ounce candle. For every 16 ounces of the candle, I think you're supposed to give it, it's a little bit less than 12 mLs. But I always like to just kind of round it off to an even number because it just makes it easier. So um, 16 and 16 would be 32. So this wasn't quite, um, I don't know, guys. I forget the formula, so I'm just going to show you this. So if you have a 26-ounce candle, you're going to put in 24 mLs of essential oil, which would be this and the um, tobacco fragrance. Well, this one says it's tobacco and vanilla, so I was like, okay, I need 24. So I'm going to divide that in half. Make it an even scented candle. I want an even blend of tobacco and vanilla. So I did 12 mLs of this and 12 mLs of the vanilla. You can see the formula right here. Guys, this turned out to be the bomb. Okay, so it actually came out a little bit stronger. I know I put a little more of the um, essential oil in there. You don't want to go overboard, guys. Uh, just You just don't. So, um, so that is that. So if you have a 26 ounce candle, you would use 24 mLs. And you can use 24 mLs of anything. You just want whatever essential oil you add in there to add up to 24 mLs. So say I wanted it to be more vanilla than tobacco. I would increase my vanilla, which I could do vanilla... Let's take four off of there and put 8 mLs of tobacco and 16 mLs of vanilla. You just want whatever essential oils you're adding to your candle to add up to 24. So say you have a smaller candle than that. Let's divide the um, 26 and a half. Three. Okay, that'd be about a 13 ounce candle, I believe, if I did that right. Two, that's one, three. Yes. It's a 12 or 13 ounce candle. Okay, so if you divide that in half and you have a smaller candle that's about a 12, 13 ounce candle, you would divide the 24. So with a smaller candle, instead of 24, you would need 12 mLs. So if I still wanted to make a smaller candle at 13, a 13 ounce candle with tobacco and vanilla, I would then reduce this down to 12 mLs. And I would split that in half because that's how I did it with this one. And I would go 6 mLs of the tobacco and 6 mLs of the vanilla. So um, really, honestly, dividing in, like, division is going to be your best friend here. Um, but if anybody has any questions, you know, you're not going to be 100% exact because the formula is for one 16-ounce candle, it requires so many mLs. And I kind of feel like it was like 11, something like that, but I could be wrong. But you could totally Google it online. That's what I did, and I was able to find this. So it's not like it's some big kind of secret here. Um you would just type in how many um, mLs of essential oil do I add to so many candles, to so many ounces per candle, and it should give you that. But this formula worked out really good. And um, you would just essentially do that. So say you have a 26 ounce candle. We're gonna divide that into three. So whatever you do to here, you're going to do to there. So 3 into 24 would be 8 mL. So 3 into 26. Two. Ah, hang on, I'm trying to think. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. It's about 27. Okay, so it won't divide into it 100% evenly, the three. But 
So, 3 divided into 27. Because it's not going to give us exactly... 3 can't go into 26 evenly. So, we'll just bump it up 1 to 27. So, 3... So, is that 8? 9. Okay, so... If you have a 9-ounce candle... You would divide that into 3. So, um, 3 divided into 24 would be, okay, so for a, and I know I'm probably confusing you guys here, so a 9-ounce candle would get, essentially it would get 8 mLs of essential oil. So if I had a little 9-ounce candle here, and I still wanted to make it tobacco and vanilla, because we've made it smaller, it's not as big now. Now we have a 9-ounce candle instead of a 26-ounce. Um, which means we divide that into what we're dividing this into, and that gives us 8 ml. So we only have 8 mLs of essential oil that we can play with. I would do 4 mLs of tobacco and 4 mLs of vanilla. So hopefully, you know, you guys kind of understand this. Um, this is just a little DIY how to kind of make your candle smell like you wanted it when you bought it from the store. Like I said, when I got this from the store, I was like, oh, it smells good. But now when I burn this, it smells exactly like I wanted it to. I can smell it outside of my bedroom. I can smell it all upstairs. Um, and it just smells absolutely gorgeous. I will tell you guys, tobacco and vanilla together, is, it, it's stunning. So you can pretty much take any candle, but I would highly recommend if you're going to do this, Either pick up one that's already scented like this or get an unscented candle. You don't want to take a candle that already has a scent in it unless it's just so weak you can't smell it. Then you could do it this way. Um, I also have like a gardenia candle that I bought from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I remember showing you guys I think I paid like $20, $25 for it. It smells really good but it's like a soft gardenia. So, for that particular candle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many ounces the candle is. And then I will then figure out how many mLs I need in there. And I'm just going to put gardenia in there. Um, unless the candle says it has more than gardenia in there. And I'm just going to really, like, strengthen the smell of it. As you guys can see, it's burning right now. It has not caught on fire. None of that. I do get a little bit of black kind of like soot and it could be from the essential oil because I don't think soy wax is supposed to have black but guys this is like amazing as far as souping up your candle goes yeah 